Hello, welcome to our channel, and my name is Dog We Ho. My name is Maranatha Boatin, and, and together, together we, we are the AJ Sisters. So today we're about to cook some jollof rice, okay? Some and it's Ghana what? Jollof. Uh, uh, Ghana jollof. jollof. Okay, so guys, we're about to make some delicious food, okay? So stay tuned. From the African market seasoning tomato sauce beef salt green pepper and carrots rice oil it's time to cook so and um, this is the onions and pepper which we didn't show earlier so, um, for the sake of the people who are gonna eat, they don't like a lot of spice, you know, really Ghanaian. Yes. So, we added, I just used only two pepper, yeah, as you can see. But normally, if it was me, I'll use like eight. I don't like a lot of spicy. I like spicy. See, the only I like a little bit. So, I, so at this point, you're gonna blend the onion. Look at me blending the onion, okay? Your girl blending the onion. <laughs> So you blend it and then um, you set it on the side and then at this point I wash my beef mm -hmm. and then you make sure you wash the beef so well so that you could get all the blood from it. You um, don't want to eat no blood. Yes. And I like beef with well done cook. I like with do no blood, beef, mm -mm. wash all the So blood. yeah, you put, it, you put it on the fire like that and then here I'm going to add my seasoning and my salt. With some salt in there. So this is like um, half a spoon, half a tablespoon of salt. Put and Maggie. then I put the Maggie on it to season it. And then at this point, I'm gonna add the blended onion and then the pepper. pepper. Ooh, come on, spice! Put some spice in there. <laughs> and then I'll stir it all, all up. And then I add a little bit of water because you know that's not gonna be enough to cook it. Yeah, so me this I, is like half a cup of water. Yeah, me I don't put uh, water in it. I just put oh, a lot of onion, a lot, and I can cook. It it will cook. So yeah, so um, I I'm gonna start the stew for the jello. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit and then add the oil to it. Not too much oil, just a little bit of oil. I like a lot of oil. I don't know why. Sometimes I put a lot of oil when I'm cooking jello. Well, this this time we didn't put a lot of oil because I don't see why you should add a lot of oil. Then at this point you add your tom your onion and your pepper to it, and then you keep on stirring. You're gonna stir this for like a minute or two, maximum, yeah. to make sure um, the onion is well cooked. Yep. And then there's less water, so you see how the the it, you see how it's looking right now. It's cooking good. Oh no! Come on, come on, the food. So um, at this point, you add your mackerel to it, and then um, some people don't add their mackerel this early, but I prefer my mackerel to go in this early. So that's really how cooking is an art. So that's it depends on how you wanna do. It. I don't like my like that. I cook my when the food is almost done, then I put my mackerel. In. That's how I cook. So at this point, I break the mackerel into little pieces to make sure all parts of the stew. Is well absorbed with a mackerel and yeah. then you stir it up for a little bit and then I come back to make sure the beef is getting well cooked so I stir the beef up a little bit at this point you see it's not completely done so you stir it up some more to make sure all parts of the beef is getting cooked Ooh, and it's the good, beef getting is cooked on a medium heat the beef is a lot mm -mm -mm -mm. The beef is a lot of beef. Well, you cover it up one more time and then you make it cook. At this point, it's had cooked for like five minutes. And this stew had been on the fire too for like seven to eight minutes. So I come back to stir it up a little bit. Jollof stew doesn't have to take too long to prepare because, you know, you're going to cook, cook the, the rice, rice in it again. Right. 
you don't want to cook it too much and then all your nutrients from your ingredients is too cooked mm -hmm. I, my, I make sure that oh, look at me look at your girl <laughs> So you come back and then you add the tomato sauce at this point to it and then this tomato sauce is um, very watery and so because of that you wouldn't need no water when you're doing the jollof so yeah. you stir it up a little bit you keep on stirring it up a little bit to make sure all parts of the stew is well absorbed and then at this point I come to check on the beef and then this is this is how you want your beef to look because we're gonna fry the beef again so you don't want it to be so soft right but it will be well done cooked right no blood. no blood is not at this right. point mm -hmm. so then so they see the beef is done so now i come and add my seasoning to the stew the stew is almost done yeah so that's the maggi and then i'm gonna add a little bit of um nutmeg Ooh. this is like a table a, a tablespoon of nutmeg to it and nutmeg gives it some kind of flavor mm -mm -mm. even the smell make it it, it make it smell good right so you keep really? on stirring so you see there's not a lot of water and uh, there's not a lot of oil at the top right and then yeah. at this point I add a little bit of salt this is like half a spoon of half a tablespoon of salt mm -hmm. I mm. think in Ghana we measure we don't measure the salt I don't know yeah we don't measure it's like with spoon of <laughs> we, and it will come right it and will then I wash the rice at this point and then you wash the rice to get all the sometimes you have these little little dirty stuff in the rice mm. so when you wash it like this it comes out or sometimes some of the the little fibers come on top of the rice and then you let it go mm -hmm. so you wash it like two times and the stew is done at this point for jollof so you put your rice in Ooh, it come on and remember I told you that because of the tomato sauce is watery you're not gonna add no more rice but if you had used tomato paste the stew would have been um, so thick that you'd have to add some water to it but this one you don't need no water mm -hmm. and I wouldn't I didn't even need the broth but I needed um, the taste of the broth so I'm gonna add a little bit of the broth to it yes Ooh, look at me eating all the beef <laughs> And at this point, I had fried the beef too on the side. Mm. So you stir it. I stirred it up a little bit. Added a little bit of salt. This is like another half a tablespoon of salt. So it's like overall, it's one tablespoon of salt that I use for the stew and the jello. Mm. And then I cover it up with foil. Some people use napkins. Some people don't even cover it with they, nothing. They just cover it with a regular. Uh, but I prefer to cover it with something because I feel like. Um, this helps my rice to cook better, especially if you're cooking jollof rice, because jollof rice could be difficult to cook sometimes. Yes, it's very. So always cover it up with something, not just that. So mm -hmm. I use this. Some people use napkin. So I put it on for like five minutes, and then I came back to check. And after five minutes, this is how you. It's on medium heat. Remember, you don't cook jollof on high heat. Right. At this point, it's on medium, Ooh. and then after this, I'll put it on low heat. Come on, jollof After the rice. first day, uh, yeah. Looking good right there. Ooh, yeah. make me about to eat some jollof rice. <laughs> this is looking good. It sure mm. is. Mm. So the, so then after like three minutes, I came back to see, and now this is like almost cooked. It's like seventy percent cooked at this point. Ooh. And then the jollof is really soft here. I usually don't cook a lot of soft jollof, but the people who are gonna eat it don't like hard jollof, so. You know, sometimes you have to think about the people who are going to eat it and cook right, it to their taste. Right, because I don't like hard jollof. Make my jaw hurt, okay? So at this point, it's like 90% cooked, and then I add my vegetables. I wait for it to be almost cooked before adding the veggies because I don't want it to be so soft. Right. You know, I want to eat all the vegetables. I, I want it to be crunchy. And some people put the vegetable in the stew and cook with the rice. Some people do that. And and no. then at this point I'm gonna add the beef. Remember I told you I had fried the beef? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna add the beef to it too because the, the food is done. Ooh, look at the beef. Ooh, come on. Once you put the beef in like that, you stir a little bit. You don't stir like you're cooking stew. But you see how they're stirring. It's like to make sure all parts of the jollof get some parts of the beef. So when you fetch it for somebody, even one spoon, the person will get enough um, Beef in it. Ooh, this looking good. And that's it. Uh, it's done. Yeah. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the food we're about to receive from nurse for our bodies. Christ, you just say, Amen. 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 Everybody can eat and then share your opinion. Let's try. Mm. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yo, coal fire. What I you like got the to say, texture. Man? The That's texture good. is very good. Mm. Yeah, I like the flavor. It's very good. Mm. It's very good. Man, yes, man. I, the I, can eat, mm. I can eat this. <laughs> They got a nice spicy kick. Yeah. I like the peppers in it. You got what green peppers? Yes, green peppers.